Continuing coverage, the rising water in the River Valley is forcing more people out of their homes. KNWA's Kirika Azuka found out how homeowners are preparing for the historic flooding. The past few days have been anything but ordinary for people in the River Valley. Very hectic, extremely hectic. We started to get the word about five or six days ago. Vernon Cooksey has lived in this Fort Smith home for more than 20 years. He says he had no intentions of leaving until he saw U-Hauls in his neighborhood and how quickly the water was rising. When they started to go beyond 2015 level, then we knew we were in trouble. Cooksey says he experienced minor damage during the flooding in 2015, but this time he thinks the water will get into his house if it gets as high as predicted. And flooding is not the only problem the city is facing right now. If you don't live in the neighborhoods or aren't volunteering in the neighborhoods, please try to stay out of them. Um, we're having a lot of issues with just sightseers that are causing congestion on the roads. Now, Fort Smith police are warning people against driving around barriers. This is the corner of Rogers Avenue and Meandering Way, which, as you can see, is extremely flooded. Now, driving on roads like this is very unsafe and can even get your car swept away. Meanwhile, as Cooksey gets ready to leave his home, he says he's hoping for the best. I have probably 50 daylilies that are just ready to bloom. And uh, I'm going to have to talk to them and tell them they're going to have to make it through this flood. <laughs> so. In Fort Smith, in Kirikazuka, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.